Hey folks, how y'all doing? We're gonna put a uh, battery maintainer, charger slash maintainer, strong, uh, John Deere strong box. It's a model number TY25866. Model TY25866. All right. That's an awesome little thing. Yeah, I got it from uh, the Run Green store uh, for like 35 bucks. Not, not a bad, I believe Schumacher makes it for John Deere. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a nice look, looking unit. Comes with uh, course instructions right here. You know, everything you need to know about it. Also, Comes with the charger. I'm gonna put one on my, my big tractor too. I got one for my big tractor I need to put on, my 2320. But here it is right here, strong box. Doesn't weigh hardly anything. And you got your quick disconnect right here on it. And of course you got your AC plug. And we're going with the uh, Quick adapter, which is right here, uh, the terminal ring adapter, and there it is, just plug, bam, that's it, that's all there is to it. You know, we'll probably use a zip, uh, zip tie to tie it somewhere off the tractor won't, where it won't be in the way. We can just plug into it and be done with it. All right. So anyway, my C and I glasses on, and we'll go at it. All right. But there she is right here the x350 john deere 2017 x350 all right first of all we got to take and uh take the front brush guard all out the way then we get to our battery right here so I'll show what we got okay folks uh, it's going to take a 10 millimeter wrench well we're going and, and then we're going to run it down the side of that cable right there where we can hook into it side that probably side the uh, right in this area right in here where I hang down kind of in this area right here where we can get to it to plug into it without Taking the uh, lifting the cover and all that stuff in the in the the uh, brush guard. So let's get to work on it. All right, it's just ten millimeter wrench, positive and negative. Red is a positive, black is a negative. All right, go from there. We'll see how it goes. All right, hold tight. Okay, y'all, we got her hooked up. I just saw it speed up the process a little bit, but that's self explanatory over here. We got your negative hooked up. I brought it over there that way so it gives us more room. And I got the, the positive hooked up. As y'all can see, it's right here. Pot one to the positive lead. And what we want to do, this slot's all hooked up. Okay, y'all, what we want to do now is close the uh, the cover, the engine hood, all right, and make sure we have access before I zip tie anything. And let's see what we got. Close the hood. And all right. Okay, really no access at all. Um, okay, there she is, right there, it helped this cable a little longer, that's what I'm going to say about it right now, it helps it was a little bit longer, okay, we'll see what we got, Yep, not gonna reach it. 
Okay, not a problem. Uh, I'm gonna show you right here where we got it. I just got a zip tie in place. It's right there. Right here. So that way we can access it. Then when it's not in use, I can put it up on back underneath of there. So we're gonna go ahead and zip tie it in place. And that way we can hook into it. Alright. That way it won't be in the way of any of the pedals or nothing like that. Alright. Let's go ahead and zip tie it. Okay. It's about right where we want it. Yeah, I wish this cable was a a bit longer, but it, it'll work. I'm gonna zip tie it right around these vacuum hoses. Take that. Let's go ahead and go around this cable right here. Make a double wrap. She's, she's there. All right. And what we'll do now, we'll take our uh, pliers. You can either cut it, a zip tie, wire, or just twist it. All right. She's snug. Might take my Leatherman's and just twist. A lot of times you don't get the first route. So. All right, there we go. She's all connected, ready to go. So let's close it up. And we'll still be able to access. Yep, we still have access right here. All right. So that's a good thing. And we we'll go down. You see it hanging out right there. That'd be it right here. Right there. So easy, easy plug in. All right, we'll hook it up and see how it goes. All right. Okay, what we're gonna do is plug her in first. All right. Here's our battery strong box, 1.5 amp charger. All right. Okay, we're gonna access right here, the quick plug connect. Zoom in on that. Okay. Okay. Plug her in. Okay. All right. All right, she's plugged in. Okay. Now we're gonna plug her in afterward. Okay, now we're gonna plug her in. All right, plug her in. We got, light, we got lights. Okay, she's charging. Let me show you all this. That's a nice tool, folks. I like the battery tender plus. I like this brand too. But being a John Deere product, I'm like, what the hey? So. Right now, it's saying it's charging. Okay. So that's a good thing. It's more leave it plugged up. And now we can just, that's it, that's a simple installation.
on the strong box. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed that. All right. And uh, anyway, now we got a good insulation, and now we can put our push bar, I mean our brush bar, back up. So we're not charged for a little bit, and I'll see it. Let's see how it goes. And it, it's a charger maintainer. Is what it does. It does kind of everything. And I'll leave a part number in the description of my video. All right. So let's go ahead and put our brush guard up. Okay. Go ahead and take our brush guard. There you have it. Woo! It's all shut down. Yep, that's good to go. So that's all there is to it. All right, we'll come back to that. See how it goes. And we're going to we're going to install the one. We're going to install the. We're going to install one on the twenty three twenty now. All right, we got the same thing, strong box, same model number. We're going to install on the John Deere twenty three twenty. All right, here we go. Okay, on this tractor, folks, it's really it's really a sealed compartment, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna install this and have them laying inside there and zip tie it, and I'm gonna have to lift the hood up or pop the hood up a little bit where I can get to the uh, where I can plug it in at. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one. That's a little bit different setup on the big 2320. So anyway, it's a 2320. So that's gonna work out fine. So in the wintertime, not don't get much use. That way the battery will be charged. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and install it and let you check it out. Okay, folks, we got the uh, battery tender plus the wire coming from right there, the positive and the negative come off right here, and we zip tied it right here. This is on the 2320. Here's our plug. We just plug that in like we did the other one, but this. We gotta lift the hood up and then put the cord in there and let it do its thing. So that's how that's gonna work out. So anyway, we're just works up working out pretty good. Okay, folks, so that's gonna be it. And I'll have to keep some trickle charge right much. Over the winter when I'm not in use, help save your battery in the long run. Okay. Alright, well, I'll show you the other set up but yeah i wish that lead but see all that uh all this right here this is enclosed it's uh, for vibration resistance on the hood itself um so you don't really want to i don't want to put any more holes in my tractor than i need to but there's that there she is and it's a simple way of doing it all right well here's a strong box charger maintainer john deere doing this thing so when I say it's automatic all right anyway folks hey I want to thank you for watching my videos how to install the install the um, strong box uh, okay, here's the number up again it is the TY the TY Two five eight six six battery charger maintainer. So yeah, y'all, it's a good thing to have, and uh, or whatever brand you choose. But it's a good price. And I'll put a link below of where I got it, um, and all that good stuff. All right, thanks for watching, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Got like and share. Um, God bless and simplify. Please subscribe. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy now. All right, bye bye.